is this order from and typically such export orders bring what kind of margins with them? Mr. Mishra, can you hear me? Okay, let me try once. Um, Mr. Mishra, can you hear us? Uh, yes, Lata, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we yes. can hear you now. We were just asking <laughs> okay. you about this order and what kind of margins it will bring about for you. Uh, Lata, uh, first and foremost, uh, let me tell you a uh, little bit about this order. This is an order from the U.S. market. Mm. And traditionally, we has been a uh, sort of, you know, like big player in the U.S. market for the large diameter segment. Unfortunately, I have always uh, sort of refrained from uh, giving a margin, uh, you know, like uh, on order to order basis. And I can tell you that, you know, like considering that it is a niche market order, it is, it is a quite, uh, you know, like decent margin order. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't like to probably uh, speak specific percentage, mm -hmm. but I can tell you that it, it's probably one of our niche market order. So, uh, when will you start seeing revenue recognition from this order and how much do you expect to see in the first couple of quarters? Uh, this would, uh, you know, like start getting executed uh, from uh, next year onwards and, uh, you know, like it would probably get uh, produced uh, sometime within, you know, like 12 to 18 months from uh, January 2016. Okay. Uh, what's generally the order book uh, and the demand position, uh, Mr. Mishra? Uh, do you think that uh, for the current quarter, the third quarter, things are looking much better for you? Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, like uh, with this order, our order booking uh, goes uh, straight past 1 million ton. And uh, if you see in the last two quarters, we have done close to 500,000, 600,000 tons. And we have two quarters to go. So in other words, you know, like we would probably be even operating and starting with a uh, very decent order booking position for next financial year with this 1 million ton outstanding order as in today. So in these market conditions, probably, you know, like having an outstanding order book of uh, 1 million ton, I think we're quite pleased with our performance. So uh, you said that the revenue recognition of this order will start next year. So you mean next calendar year or next fiscal year? Uh, we would actually start producing next year, but the recognition, I think revenue would probably start coming in probably in the first quarter of next financial year. Okay. A, a small portion might even come in in the last quarter, but I think the majority is going to come in uh, the next financial year. Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, I'm not able to make out why there is such a wide difference between your consolidated numbers and your standalone numbers. Uh, see, uh, because in any case, you know, like we are a uh, sort of, you know, like uh, diversified uh, company and this we recognized uh, probably almost six, seven years back mm. that instead of, you know, like putting our all eggs in one basket where you are actually almost uh, looking at a few markets, instead of doing that, we wanted to be a global player and therefore you see that, you know, like even if one market is impacted, Wilson Corp's business does not get impacted so much because in the other market we are able to perform better as a local player. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the kind of revenue growth for the consolidated entity you are expecting uh, in uh, the second half and more uh, importantly in FY17? Uh, I would I would still uh, probably uh, say that you know like I would uh, not uh, like to probably give a guidance as to what kind of growth I am looking at because that has been the policy of the company. But uh, I think uh, the fact that we have already done 600,000 tons, as I said, in the last two quarters, and we have a healthy order book positions, and, uh, you know, like, I think a decent uh, size growth, probably, that's something, you know, like, one has to uh, sort of decipher. So what is your um, order visibility looking like from the export market, uh, if say, for the next 6 to 12 months? Uh, I, uh, you know, I think uh, we would, uh, in any case, with this order book position, let's say for FY 16, 17, I think we should look at, in any case, opening the year at least with maybe 500 to 600,000 tons, which is almost, you know, like if you see our current year performance or last year performance, we would already be opening with about 50% of our sales. Okay. And we still have probably more than four months to go in this particular year, mm -hmm. financial year. 
So I think, uh, you know, we would uh, be looking for pretty safe in 16, 17 as well. How is the domestic order booking position? I mean, do you see uh, any expenditure by state governments either for irrigation or for water supply purposes? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, water supply in any case has been probably one of the focus area for, for uh, different state governments, be it uh, Telangana, be it in Odisha, and we are, we are actually or even Gujarat. We are seeing uh, that business growing, and from Westpun's perspective itself, you know, like we used to do just about 40 odd thousand tons of water pipes. From that level, we have gone up to almost 300 thousand tons of water pipes. And oil and gas, as far as domestic projects are concerned, uh, the finance minister in the last budget did announce that you know, like India is going to build about 15 thousand kilometer of oil and gas pipelines. Okay. And we have already started seeing some of those uh, orders or some okay. of those enquiries getting fructified. Okay. As well, uh, last uh, quarter, you all reported fairly good improvement in margins by about 450 basis points. Uh, is there scope for more improvement in margins? Uh, see, there is always a constant endeavor that, you know, like in uh, probably uh, in this challenging market environment, we still are trying to do few good things and then probably trying to see opportunities in adversities. Uh, one of them being, you know, like we have tried to uh, utilize our plate mill, which is a one step backward integration for our pipe mill. Mm. Uh, that has started contributing positive EBITDA for us. Mm. We right. are actually using that to our advantage the most. Okay, okay. Mr. Mishra, we'll uh, leave it at that. Thanks for joining us. That's Wellspun Corp. You can expect the stock to move up higher. But in